Um, what do we do now? Oh, what about this? Taking all the uh, rocks and infill from Bray as they do the uh, Dargle works, uh, but she needs some place to put them. Why not put them in Kilcool? Tom Fortune is not happy though. Uh, he's a local independent councillor. Good morning, Tom. What's the story here? Good morning, Declan. Yeah, I'm just I'm speaking on behalf of the residents in the area and a group of concerned people uh, who are involved with the Mora as well. If, maybe, maybe if I could put the thing in context for you, that w- it, would, it, w- it would explain to people what the issue is. Uh, this is a 13-acre site located about a mile outside the Cool in Priest Newtown. Um, it's it's a, 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 a natural glacial valley. It has biodiversity values and habitat values. And at the moment, as we speak, there is an, uh, an amendment. Uh, before Wicklow County Council that was approved at the meeting on the 4th of July by a vote of 14 to 13 in favour and it, it basically reads to preserve lands at the Rocks Kilcool as shown on map 20 or 10.16 in its existing state to allow no development of these lands to protect the lands as a natural habitat and biodiversity area and to protect the open nature and landscape quality of the lands. Now interestingly enough then on, on top of this back uh, a number of years ago in, in March 1990 Wicklow County Council refused a, an individual permission to put a, a, a landfill site right beside that area and interestingly enough the reasons they quoted which I think are very important in the context of the conversation we're having uh, I'll be very quick on this Declan there was three points the first point was made up of A, B and C the development would result in a substantial increase in the turning movements of HGVs on a narrow and poorly aligned section of this heavily trafficked uh, R71761 B, the limited site distance at the entrance to the site, combined with the turning movements of HGVs, would hinder the free flow of traffic on the adjoining R761. No provision has been provided in the proposals to safeguard the drainage of the public road and adjoining lands. The proposed development would seriously A, injure the amenities and B, depreciate the value of properties in the vicinity because of the noise and dust pollution that would be generated from the landfill site itself and from the truck movements that such a development would generate. But the most important point in, in this, in the context of what's going on at the moment, Declan, the development would be contrary to the proper planning and development of the area as it would damage a local natural habitat and because the stream on site is within the Murrah catchment the development would increase the risk of pollution to the Murrah, which is designated a, a, a candidate natural heritage area, a special protection area and a candidate special area of conservation. Now, and, what, and what would the stuff that's going in from the Dargal, what damage would that do? Well, what it would do is that it's a glacial valley, there's 300,000 tonnes or thereabouts of, of material to be put in. What it would do, there's a stream that flows out of that valley connects up with the, with the, with the, the breaches area of Tlacool, which is connected up to the Murrah, and the view of people who know about these things is that it would destroy the whole biodiversity, it would disturb the various habitat and birds and uh, wildlife that's in the in that particular site that hasn't been interfered with for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, and that basically also the council have met with the group on numerous, a number of occasions and on the last meeting they had a meeting in the in the council offices in Bray and they gave a commitment nothing would happen until uh, the residents got a look at the EIS report which they haven't been given and, and where did the decision to use it in the first place come out of? It came out of Wicklow County Council because obviously what they had was they had 300,000 tonnes of soil they had to move uh, and they had to look. They were looking at where they would put it. So obviously they were looking at it from an economic perspective and they decided that they would put it in, into, into that valley which is, which is only seven miles down the road from Bray. But it's absolutely the wrong, wrong thing to be doing. Uh, have they got an alternative suggestion? They have. There, there's, there's two other sites in Wicklow that has been looked at. The group went back to the council and established that they could put them into those sites. There's also the possibility that the, the, the soil or the, or the waste they're talking about could be sold on commercially uh, without having to do this. Uh, the big problem the residents have right now is, having had all these meetings with the local authority, there's a tremendous lack of trust. And on the ground now, the view is that what's going on here now at the moment is just anti-democratic and what I'm saying on behalf of that group th- this morning is I'm asking the local authority to behave properly, to, to treat the group with manners, f- uh, f- uh, live up to the commitments that has been made and the process of the, of, of the, 
the development plan Declan is, is coming to a conclusion. The amendment that I read out to you was approved on a vote of 14 to 13 on the 4th of July. So it has been basically approved. It has to come back to the council in September, October because it had to go out on display for the public to make comments. And it's more than likely going to get rubber stamped again at the final meeting. So that site should not be touched at all. Right. Now there was 13 to 14 as you say. So why do you know the 13? What was their views? Why, well, why, do, they, their why view, do they feel to go against the 14? Well, there were a bit, I think some of them were a bit unsure or they weren't familiar with the area and things like that. Um, my understanding is that since that... So why vote? Uh, why vote uh, I, then? I don't know. Or vote in but I know, I, know the group, sure. I know the group, Declan, have spoken with some of the public reps since then, and there, there some of the, a lot of them will probably change, will, will vote uh, against this going ahead on, on the uh, September, October. But it's essential that that happens because this is, this is basically, uh, something that will potentially destroy, uh, a very important environmental uh, property that should be protected and needs to be protected going forward. But the big thing that residents have now, and the reason why we're talking about it, and the reason why I'm talking to you this morning is is they feel that the council have not followed through on what they promised them and basically, out of manners alone, they need to just back off and let the natural process take its course and the, when the, when the, uh, the county development, development plan process gets completed uh, in September, October, whenever we have that meeting, that then we can make the decision, but they should not be doing anything. What got the people's backs up, Declan, was a, a, a notice appeared up in the gate outside the site uh, with the, the council uh, applying to on board Planola for permission to proceed with the project without having come back to the residents, without having shown the residents the EIS report. And the project is 300,000 tonnes of... It's 280,000 tonnes is the figure but it, it, that, they, that, that they've quoted us. That they want to put in. Now, Morris got in touch, he says, Morning, Declan, would all this gravel be not better off put to use in the rapidly eroding back beach in Greystones Harbour. Uh, I've been to the rocks many times and there's badges, uh, badgers and foxes and rabbits and bats there. Uh, it's an untouched wilderness and it should stay that way. Yeah, Morris now has captured the whole thing, Declan, very succinctly there and that's exactly what it is and that's the reason why the residents and the, mor- the people that are concerned about the Mora are asking the county council to please back off and leave this particular uh, acres, uh, 13 acres exactly as it is. It's been like that for ten, oh, probably over 10,000 years. It's one, of the, it's one of the only... Who uses it? No, nobody uses it. It's just, it's just a, it's a piece of landscape that's there, as Morris has described, and those are the things that Morris has described to you uh, in his comment. So nobody uses it. It's nobody just uses it. No. It's just a natural, one of the last probably natural kind of habitats you'll find, uh, certainly in Wicklow. Who owns it? Well, Wicklow County Council uh, 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 would see him owns it. Right. So, Dave, to just leave it. Well, what they well, should... Did they buy it? And to well, that question has been asked. When did you buy it? What did you pay for it? Did, there has did they buy it as a wilderness? Should it not be the parks and wildlife uh, people or... If it's, you know, you know, move it along and say, can Wicklow County Council have no use to them and uh, none of the residents want them to do anything with it, just well, see, sell it, it all and make some money. It, it's, a natural, it's a natural habitat there, Declan, so there's no need to touch it. By touching it, they're going to destroy but it. Can you not designate it in some way? Well, that's what, that's what we're trying to do with the County Development Plan. And as I said to you, the first stage of that has been approved by the members of the County Council. And it'll come before the members of the County Council in September, October to have that uh, confirmed. Because once the amendment was put in that I read out to you, that had to go out and display for the public to comment on it. Okay. And it, it would actually be the, uh, an absolutely terrible decision for Wicklow just to plough ahead. But the c- concern with the residents is that they feel they're just being ignored now. And the big problem with all these kind of uh, things that go on, Declan, in the county is is this lack of communication. And a very basic requirement is is for the council to keep to the commitment and promises they make to people. You can't just be telling people okay. one thing at a meeting and then just going off and doing what you want. All right, sir, that is Independent Councillor Tom Fortune, resident of Kilcool, and I believe Wicklow County Councillor formulating a reply, uh, which we'll bring you later on. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Uh, our number here is 087 77 11 103.